Hey guys, Bob here, Overland Citrus. Today we're going to do a little quick install on some door hinge steps. And these are by a company called Hook. H-O-O-K-E. Well, that's how I pronounce it, Hook. And I went with these because it's got this nice little thumb screw so that this step can't fall out. Even if it had a latch, it gets loose on the trail maybe. I didn't want to take that chance, so I got them with this nice locking thumb screw. The first thing you want to do is grab some cardboard and stick it under your door. Make it nice and tight. And I'm going to tell you why we're doing that. We're going to take all four hinge bolts out and we don't want the door to drop on its alignment. We want the door to close nice, just like it did before we took the bolts out. So remember, just jam some cardboard in there. It's just a good precaution so you don't change your door height, you're going to worry about your adjustment. Then I'm going to use a half inch drive with a 50, number 50 Torx, and take those factory bolts out. I already broke one loose to see how hot it would be before I started the video. They're going to come out rather easy. So now I'm going to break the rest of those out and we'll see how that goes. And they break off pretty easy. You could do this with a little electric impact if you wanted to, but this is what I'm going to do it with. Just going to twist that out. And then we're going to break the top too. Okay, all I'm going to say is when you break these loose and you choose to use an impact, cordless impact, break them loose with a ratchet or a breaker bar. And I'm going to tell you why. They're in there pretty good and then they paint the door and the vibration is definitely going to chip more of the paint off and you really don't want to do that. So remember, break them loose, then take them off. Okay, once you get all four bolts out, you're going to grab your step and install it. Might sound crazy, but make sure you don't install it upside down. It can happen. And then you just place it over your hinges, thread the bolts back in, get them started. And as I'm doing this, I can see that there's a little bit of play. So you don't want to let it go until you get a few bolts in because you don't want it to drop down and maybe put a little nick in the hinge. I'm a pretty fussy guy. I like everything to be nice. If it's going to get damaged, it's not going to be from me. And then you get all four started. Pretty nice looking piece. My door hasn't dropped down because of the cardboard. And then we're just going to tighten all four bolts up. So let me get in there and tighten these up. We'll be right back. Okay, so then got it all installed. You just loosen the thumb screw, it falls down, and you got a nice sturdy step. All right, and I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do is some hinges come with the bolts, new bolts. This did not, and they're white. So I'm gonna paint them black. That's an easy enough thing to do. Uh, so uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna be right back. We're gonna pull these cardboards out, open the door, make sure everything's good, and we're gonna do the other three. So hang in there. Okay, we got all four in. They look good, nice and rugged. Now we're just going to paint the bolts, and that's my personal preference. I like everything to at least start off looking neat. Biggest thing, don't forget to shim the door so your door don't drop down. You don't have to worry about aligning it. It will open and close correctly when you're done. So thanks for watching this install. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell. And you'll know when we put a new video up. Until then, wheel safe, camp safe, and thanks for watching.